Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury, I'm JRH and today I'm going to be testing to find out what it takes to stop an air rifle pellet. In this video I'm going to be doing a few tests to find out what an air rifle pellet will go through or more specifically what it takes to stop an air rifle pellet. Now we all know air gun power is measured in foot pounds with the legal limit for unlicensed air rifles in England and Wales being 12 foot pounds but what I want to find out is what that looks like in real terms. Plus there are a number of firearms videos out there called things like how much paper does it take to stop a 50 BMG or what will a 2-2 long rifle go through so I thought why should they have all the fun. So what I'm going to do is a few tests using a couple of different calibers and a few different types of pellets and I'll be shooting at a variety of different ballistic mediums. First of all I've got some 9.5mm thick plasterboard or drywall for our American friends and I'll line five of these pieces up at 5cm intervals for each test using this holder that I've made. Uh, then I'll be shooting some 4mm thick chipboard um, and for each test I have nine of these which I will set up at three centimetre intervals which I've cut slots for in the other side of this holder so I can turn those over. After that I'll be shooting into water using these four pint plastic milk bottles. Um, I'll line four of these up back to back for each shot, now 12 and a half centimetres deep. And then lastly I'll be shooting at paper using this four centimetre thick catalogue. To start with I'm going to shoot all four targets with some 177 Air Arms Diablo field pellets and then as a direct calibre comparison I'll shoot another set of targets using these same pellets but in 2-2. Uh, then I'll move on to test the extremes of penetration and stopping power. For penetration I've got these 177 Gamo Armour penetration pellets and then in terms of stopping power I'm going to try these 2-2 Diana hollow point pellets. To do these tests I'm going to be using my Remington Express uh, for the 177 pellets and that's fitted with a Remington 4x32 scope and for my 2-2 pellets I'm going to be using my Air Arms TX200 Mark III fitted with a Hawk Air Max 3x9x40 scope. Now both of these guns are full power spring piston rifles so any difference in penetration and how far the pellets get through the targets should be down to calibre and pellet type rather than the power of the guns. Now I've got my first set of targets set up about 10 metres that way with a couple of cameras on them and I'm going to start off with the Air Arms Diablo field pellets in 177. I've put up a new set of targets and I'm going to move straight on to the 2-2 Air Arms Diablo field pellets and then I'll compare all of the results at the end.
Now onto the armour penetration pellets. And lastly, the hollow points. Now I've done all my shooting, I'm keen to have a look at the results. First of all I'm going to compare those bits of plasterboard. So this is my first load here, this is the one I shot with the Air Arms 177 Diablo field. So we've gone through the first one, quite a small neat hole at the back. Through the second one you can see all the dust build up from the first one, again out the back. Third one, out and Looks like it has come through the third one. The fourth one. There's clearly a big dent there, but it's not gone through. So the 177 regular Diablo field pellets went through four. And obviously the last one's untouched. The next lot here were from the Air Arms Diablo field in 2-2. There's actually the pellet I recovered from that one. Gone to the first one, obviously a slightly bigger hole, quite neat on the back. So the second one, and out the back, you can actually see it's quite a big cavity in there where it's broken apart that plasterboard. The third one, decent size dent in it, but that hasn't come through. So obviously the fourth and fifth one's untouched. So that's to be expected actually. The smaller pellet, uh, the 177, travelling faster, it's going to have more penetration, it's smaller. So yeah, that's about what I expected. Now having a look at the 177 Gamo armour penetration. So you'd be expecting this one to go through furthest. It's got that steel tip on it. Nice neat hole through the first one. Through the second one. And only quite a small dent in the third one. So that actually went through probably even less than the uh, standard 2.2. Quite surprised about that. And then lastly, the 2.2 Diana hollow point pellets. Again, I managed to recover the pellet from that one. Nice big hole, clean through. Biggest exit wound of all of them. Through the second one. and then stopped in the third one. Um, I'd say it's not quite as big a dent as the, the regular 2.2, which is to be expected, obviously that hollow point expands, it's got more stopping power. So roughly I think overall those results are what I expected um, with the, the standard 177 Diablo going furthest. I am quite surprised though about the uh, armor penetration pellets only going through two of them and into the third. Moving on to compare these bits of 4mm chipboard. First one's the 177 Air Arms Diablo Field. There's the pellet. So it's obviously through one, two, three, four, five, 
six and then it stopped there with a dent in the seventh one. Next up was the 2-2 Air Arms Diablo Field. The pellet. That went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very slight dip in the ninth one, but not a lot. Quite surprised actually that went through further than the 177 ones. Next was the gamma arm penetration. The pellet. That went through one, two, three, four, five, and stopped in the sixth one. Bulged it, I don't know how we can see that, it has bulged it quite a lot in the back of that one. But, yep, yeah, only went through five and stopped at the sixth. Lastly, the Diana Hollow Points. There's the pellet. That went through one, two, three. You can see definitely bigger holes than the hollow points. Four, five, six. And stopped. Very little marking on the seventh one. So again, relatively uh, expected results. Uh, quite surprised though that the 2-2 air arms went further than the 177 and again very disappointed with the armour penetration pellets. Right the milk bottles full of water next. Uh, I'm only actually showing three of each of these as none of them made it anywhere near the fourth. So these first ones are from the air arms 177 Diablo field. The first bottle got in and out the back there. On in, and you can see the pellet is sticking out of the second one. Have to pull that out some pliers in a minute. And the third one, don't know how well you'll be able to see it. I can't even really see it now. There is um, a small dent, but it's insignificant. Next up is the Air Arms Diablo Field and 2 2. The first one, clearly a bigger hole than the 177 and out the back into the second one really nice round perfect hole um, decent enough size hole on the back but it didn't actually come out of that one um, I recovered the pellet from inside this bottle the third one it split it very slightly but clearly didn't go all the way through next the gamma armor penetration Gone in the first one and out the back in the second one and there is absolutely no mark on the back of the second one it didn't go through that and I recovered the pellet from that one um, and this third one is completely untouched lastly the Diana hollow points nice big hole through the front, uh, front of it, out the back Second one gone in and you can see it's kind of pierced and cut a hole in the back but it didn't actually come out. I recovered the pellet from in that second and nothing on the third one. Lastly have the catalogue. Take the tape off so I can open it up and actually count how many pages they went through. Right, this top one is the Air Arms Diablo Field. Let's just split the pages there. So that's gone through or damaged roughly 250 pages. The 2 2 Air Arms Diablo Field. It's 
gone through uh, much less, only about I'd say 150 pages and there's that pellet in there still. You can see there. The arm penetration pellet. has gone deeper actually, that's gone or damaged the pages down to about 300 pages that pellet in there and lastly was the hollow point the pellet actually bounced back out of that it has to be expected, it hasn't gone anywhere near as far as the others it's about the stopping power rather than the penetration That's gone only maybe a hundred pages. A bit more lead in it from one of them. Must be the 177. So there you've seen what happens when an air rifle is fired at a range of everyday materials and what it takes to stop a pellet fired from a full power legal limit air rifle. Which as we've seen is two to three bits of plasterboard, six or seven thin bits of chipboard, two jugs of water or 200 to 250 pieces of paper, albeit they were quite thin catalogue pages. The results were largely to be expected, uh, with the 177 pellet going through further than the 22s, but what did surprise me was that the uh, standard lead pellet actually went through further than the lead-free armour penetration pellet. I had thought that one would go through furthest and take the most stopping. Nonetheless, I hope you found the results interesting, uh, even if nothing more than just seeing the power of an air rifle in real terms as opposed to it just going over a chronograph. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the Air Armoury, and until next time, keep your arms in the air.